So my name is Daniela Goya Toqueto. I'm a PhD candidate at Duke University, and I'm very excited to be here sharing some of the work that I have been doing with Shai on reducing class-based prejudice with simple reminders of how socioeconomic background impacts individual achievements. Individuals from low socioeconomic status often face a double bind. So let me just get this thing on the right place here. Sorry, just a second. There you go. Um, on the one hand, they usually face more obstacles to attain many qualifications that higher SES people take for granted. For example, given that wealthy parents can spend substantially more on their children's education than the less fortunate parents, they can afford to send their, their children to better and better funded schools to pay for tutors and summer programs and to enroll them at more prestigious universities and thus improve this, their post-college earning potential. So that's on the one hand. On the other hand, even when low SES individuals can overcome these obstacles and attain comparable qualifications to their higher SES counterparts, they face various biases when seeking employment. Employment. For instance, hiring and promotion processes often favor higher SES candidates who are seen as more competent and as more deserving of higher salaries. So as a result, uh, recent research has shown that people from low SES are 32% less likely to become managers, despite having equivalent qualifications, and this disadvantage is comparable to gender and racial biases in hiring. So when we consider all of this together and the strength of these biases, we can conclude that low SES job candidates should try to conceal their socioeconomic background when they're being evaluated. And indeed research finds that many times people try to do that, uh, which is not good for a variety of reasons. But in our work, what we suggest is precisely the opposite. That show, uh, and we show evidence that highlighting how one's SES may be uh, how highlighting one's SES may be beneficial for people from low socioeconomic background, and we do that in a very specific way. So I saw that in the beginning we showed a no, um, pure number of studies, but then we ran more studies. So now we have like across nine studies uh, exploring this idea that this simple potential intervention can increase evaluations of low SES candidates' motivation and potential for success. There's reducing, eliminating, or even reversing social class biases in hiring. I'm happy to, and I'd love to discuss more of this. I'll be presenting just one study today in the interest of time. So firstly, here are the abbreviated resumes that we have designed for our studies. And as we can see, these two candidates have identical qualifications. So the objective levels of qualification are the same. And based on previous research and social class biases, uh, we have included this pre-tested cues of highest yes on the left and lowest yes. Uh, in these two resumes, and we tested ourselves to see if that worked, and it did. So we used these resumes in our studies. Uh, and then in this study that I'll be presenting, we had three conditions, uh, and we recruited participants to participate that had hiring experience, and we randomly assigned them to either a high SES condition, a low SES, or a low SES with cover letter, which is our intervention. And I'll explain that later. And then in each condition, participants were presented with only one resume, so one only, and uh, they were asked to evaluate the candidate across the following dimensions, achievements, motivation, potential, long-term success, and hiring intentions. So either participants saw this and the hiring case and evaluated the candid candidate, or they saw this, or they saw this. Uh, and here is the intervention. So the idea that the candidate can highlight the SES background in a way to reduce social class bias. So the note says the following. I'd like to add a note regarding my grades and experience coming from a low socioeconomic background. I had to work my way through college while taking classes. This meant that I didn't have as much time as my peers to pursue extracurricular activities and participate in unpaid internships. And then whatever, some regular stuff. So the results, what we find here, uh, basically it's a replication of social class bias in hiring. So we can see just the lowest, yes, the highest yes in blue and the lowest yes in gray conditions here. Uh, lowest yes candidates take a hit on all dimensions uh, and even achievements despite them being exactly the same. Now with our uh, note intervention, we find that 
participants with higher in experience now evaluate the low SES candidate as significantly higher on achievement. Everything here is significant, uh, significantly higher on motivation, potential, prospects of long term success and intention to hire the candidate. So our results suggest that emphasizing how one's achievements have been weighed down by one's socioeconomic background can help to eliminate class-based biases in candidates' evaluations. And while people may understandably worry about drawing attention to their SES, our findings suggest that doing so may be surprisingly beneficial. Ironically, while the subtle markers of SES, as we saw in the resumes, lead to social class bias, explicitly linking the achievements to SES may reduce or even eliminate it. Uh, thank you so much, and I'd love to take questions and talk more about if anyone is interested. Thanks.